Hi, my name is Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and today we're going to talk about the installation, servicing and the commission record commonly known as the Benchmark Scheme. The Benchmark is a nationally recognised scheme that gives manufacturers and installers the responsibility to make sure that heating and hot water appliances are commissioned and serviced correctly. This is all done in accordance with the building regulations and it's run by the HHIC, the Heating and Hot Water Industries Council. The benchmark system covers gas, heating and hot water systems, including boilers and cylinders, vented and unvented, water treatment plants and solar thermal stored systems. On completion of the system, what needs to be commissioned under the benchmark scheme, the installer will have to complete the checklist which is found at the back of most manufacturers' installation manual. Also, when they've serviced the appliance, they will also have to complete the service checklist to comply with the manufacturer's instructions. If failure to do this will invalidate the warranty. Failure to commission a boiler doesn't just invalidate the manufacturer's warranty, it also breaches the gas safe installation regulations. All gas appliances should be commissioned correctly in accordance to the manufacturer's instructions. If these aren't, then the appliance could be classified as at risk. Just a word of warning, before you do classify the system as at risk because you think it isn't commissioned, some manufacturers such as Glowworm allow you to fill the benchmark book online. This will then be sent to the customer via an email and the installer. So just make sure you check with the customer that they have the correct paperwork before you deem the installation uncommissioned. Some manufacturers make it incredibly easy for us to fill in the benchmark book, Valent being one of them. They have a computer with D settings which allows us to check some of the parameters of the boiler. Other manufacturers such as Glowworm and Ideal also do a similar scheme. Please check the manufacturer's instructions to see if you are able to comply with this. Okay, this is a Valent Ecotech Plus 831. This is two years old and I'm going to show you how we get into the D settings for this boiler. The first thing we're going to do is wake the boiler up by pressing any button. As you can see on the screen, it says it's at 46 degrees. This is the boiler inside temperature. And on the right hand side, you can see what the pressure of the water is within the system. After waking the boiler up, we press the two I buttons for about five seconds. And then we can see we're going into the installer menu. We now scroll through the menu till we get into installation level and press select. We now have to enter a code. To find out this code number, you will need to go on the manufacturer's training courses. As you can appreciate, I can't put this number out over the internet because anybody would be able to get into the computer. Okay, we're now going to scroll down to the diagnostics menu. And then once we're in the diagnostic menu, we press select. As you can see from the top, the D and three zeros flashing this has now got us into the D settings. This is now going to help us complete the benchmark scheme. As you can see now, I have scrolled through to D36, which is domestic hot water flow rate in liters a minute. I'm now gonna turn a kitchen sink tap, which we're lucky enough to have just at the side of the boiler to demonstrate how much water is flowing through this boiler. As you can see now, the flow rate is increasing. And we've got a steady flow rate of 8.08 .08 litres a minute. Okay, so as you can see now, I've scrolled through to D41. D41 is actually put down as the return temperature of the boiler. But because of the valent boiler having a sensor on the plate heat exchanger, this will also give us our hot water temperature coming out to the tap. Again, if I turn the tap on, you'll see our temperature changing. And our eight liters a minute is giving us 
around about 44 degrees C at the tap. Okay, you can see now we're on D40, which is our hot water flow temperature going around to the radiators. And if I press it on again to 41, you can see that's our return temperatures. So there's another part of the benchmark scheme we're able to fill in once the boiler Okay, because running. this boiler is actually an Ecotec Plus, not a Pro, they do have a D03 setting, which also gives us our hot water actual temperature at the tap. So again, if I open the tap, Boiler's now fired up. It is now giving us a temperature 42 degrees C, now 44. Another good aid for the benchmark book is D84. This gives us in hours when the next service is due. And as you can see from the screen, 260 hours. My calculations, about 11 days. So in 11 days time, this boiler will be due a service. D35 tells us the position of the diverter valve within the boiler. This is more of an aid for fault finding rather than commissioning. But again, it's really good. At the moment, you can see it's set on heating mode, so we've got heating running. If I now turn a tap on, you can now see the diverter valve has changed over to domestic hot water mode. This is telling us that the diverter valve is actually working. So as you can see from this boiler, its diagnostic menu helps us when filling in the benchmark book. Other things to comply with the benchmark and Part L of the building regulations. This boiler will require a time controller and temperature controller for the room, i.e. a time clock and a room start. This boiler is fitted with an RF radio frequency programmable room thermostat. Because this installation was brand new two years ago, on the part L of the building regulations, every radiator bar where the room stat was installed requires a thermostatic rad valve. Please read and understand part L of the building regulations to find out whether the system requires thermostatic radiator valves or not. Hopefully you found this short video a good aid in commissioning the appliance to fill in the benchmark book. Remember, to complete the benchmark book, you must be gas safe registered. Other things you'll need to do in completing the book are, you'll need to flush the system. You will need to add inhibitor to protect the system from corrosion. You will also need to gas rate the appliances and do the flue gas analyzer readings. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch more videos on our YouTube channel or you can go to our website for more information about the things we do at Tomcat. Look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers. Bye.